Hi everyone, are you interested in pan tilt zoom joystick controllers? Well in this video we're going to look at the Sony RM-BR300 plus the Huddlecam HC Joy G2. All this and more coming up next. So we're going to review two of the most popular serial PTZ camera joysticks. The Sony joystick has some really great features, but just keep in mind that it's $1,200. And I'm going to show you a little uh, picture of it on BNH Photo's website, and you can see the pricing there. So let me show you that really quickly. The Sony joystick, which I have here in front of me, is roughly $1,200. It's the top seller. It's in stock at BNH at any time. And then the next tab here, you can see that we also have the huddle cam joystick as well. This is only $299, so it's a third the price. And I just want to show you the difference in features here because there are some differences. And first I want to just go dig right into the Sony. So let me show you a top-down view here to go over all of the buttons here. So first of all, you'll see that you can go up to seven quick camera selects here. So you can see that um, actually this one here, we'll show it right side up. There we go. Um, so we've got seven buttons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they light up, which is nice. And there's actually a back panel button. So if you're in a dark area, you can have the buttons light up, which I really like. Um, on the side here, we have, let's move this over just a hair more. There we go. On the side, we have the ability to adjust brightness, focus, and then also this is the iris here. So if I show you the view from this camera behind me, I can actually show you how that all works. So let's go ahead and fade to this here. And you can see this is actually the view of my camera. So the other thing I'll show you is there's a menu button. So I can go ahead and hit the menu button and it'll actually bring up the menu of the PTZ Optics cameras, which is nice. And I can go through the menu with the joystick and I can go in and out. Like if I wanted to go in a menu, I could actually just hit the center button there and it goes inside the menu. So from serial, we can do that. You can do, we can do that with the huddle cam joystick as well. Now the next thing I'll show you is as I, I can actually focus in and out with these twist buttons. Now one of the things you have to notice is that you do need to have auto focus off and then you'll have full twist control of focus, which is really, really nice. On the huddle cam joystick, which we'll show you in a moment, you do only have that, that control via button. I do like the twist there. It's very nice. Um, so turn that back to auto. Again, the brightness here, you can see again, just with the twist of a button, we can do brightness. And same thing for Iris. So the other things on this panel, let me show you this full screen again, um, this joystick controller here. One of the things I want to show is the ability to uh, change direction left and right. This is really nice. So this allows me to go ahead and hold that and hit the one or hit two. And these are basically either standard or reverse. So now I'm controlling the camera in reverse. I can go ahead and click that and I can hold the camera, uh, switch it from left to right. The other thing that I really like here, so we've got eight hot um, position buttons, and if I hold the shift key, now I'm going to 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, to 16 right there. So I've actually got 16 quick presets per and seven hot swaps per. That's basically it. There's backlight buttons that we talked about the menu, the one push auto white balance, and the knobs are really the great thing here. We can also change preset control very quickly and easily. Now let me show you the back of this device. This uses what we call cascade cables, which is an eight pin mini din. I'll unplug it real quick and show you that's what it looks like right there. So it's an eight pin mini din connector, very standard. And let's see if I can get that back in there. If I can't, I'll go switch to the next joystick. I'll switch to the next joystick here. On the back of the cameras here, these PTZ Optics cameras, one of the things you'll see here is that we have 8-pin mini DIN in and 8-pin mini DIN out. So again, that's what we're looking at there. So if I go ahead and remove the Sony joystick and I'm going to plug, set up the huddle cam joystick, I want to show you the differences. So first of all, huddle cam joystick, we'll show this full screen here, um, has four camera select hot swaps. Um, we've got the auto and manual exposure and focus. You've probably seen a video on this. Setting and calling presets and then going beyond camera four, you hit the address button and then address five, six, seven, eight. So this can actually do more cameras. You can do like 200 and some in Pelco, but um, it only has four hot swaps and it does not have the hot preset buttons. 
focus, zoom, control, iris are all done in steps in these presets here. So if I plug this in, it's a little bit of a different cable here. Now we're talking about DB9 to 8-pin mini DIN. So DB9 plugs into the back of the controller. Oops. There we go. And we plug into the first camera via daisy chain. And now we daisy chain from one to the next, as we showed before. And now on cam one, you can see same type of controls here. Pan, tilt, zoom. We can get into the, there is no menu button. So to get to menu, we would actually call preset 95 and hit enter. And now you can see on this screen that we've pulled up the menu and we can go ahead and go through it. Uh, I'm a big fan of serial control because, and then if we hit escape, we can get out of that. Um, I believe, I, I'm not sure how we get out of that. Um, and oh, the home button is to get out of it. Um, one of the things I really like about Serial is it's super fast. It does not require a network. And you know, one of the things with networking and IP control, there's also an IP joystick somewhere around here. It's over here. I'll show that in another video. IP is very nice, but it can have latency. These are instantaneous. This is a great product from Sony. It's about four times the price as the Huddle Cam product, but they're both great joysticks. So I just wanted to show the compatibility, show a little bit of the differences there. Hopefully this has been a great video for you. Um, I want to ask you guys to like and subscribe to this video and our channel here. You're not going to become a video production expert overnight. And one of the things I wanted to mention is that we're bringing out new videos all the time. So this is a great way for you to kind of stay up to date with some of the latest products for Pan Tilt Zoom video production. And I guarantee you'll learn something about live streaming by subscribing to our channel. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video and take care and enjoy your next few hours and days.